action matchup. Well, kind of hard to believe that Stephen Wonderboy Thompson has yet to realize a UFC championship. Truly a special striker. Most welterweights believe, DC, this is as hard a guy to prepare for as anybody in the division. Of course it is, because Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is in that traditional karate stance. He's standing far back, one leg way out in front, and he's just a great counter striker. If you get overzealous against Stephen Thompson, you are going to sleep. You cannot just rush him. You have to take your time, so a lot of his fights look very similar because guys don't know how to approach the counter-striking style of Wonderboy. Wild success as an amateur and professional kickboxer. Truly put Simpsonville, South Carolina on the UFC map. His father, Ray, there firmly in his corner. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson looking to make one more run here to UFC welterweight title contention. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Athens, Georgia, the Gorilla. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? All right, here we go with round one. His knockout streak really has been the stump of legend. Knocking out contenders left. And now he lands a combination. He went high on that one. Oh! Nice work by the man here against the fence, continuing to stay busy and continuing to land. Continuing to land. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh! Huge right hand! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a man. going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the 
Gorilla! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.